Bitch, yo, boom, and want some more. The best advice I can give you for SAT subject tests is just to take them because whether they're really important or not in your eyes, I'll tell you right now, they really are important, especially if you want to get scholarships and you want to go to top level colleges because believe it or not, a lot of students that, you know, they, they want to go to Harvard, they want to go to MIT, they want to get full rides to colleges, they're going to take as many tests as they can, whether it be the ACT, the SAT, subject tests. Now, personally, I never took the ACT. But I did take two subject tests and of course SAT. And actually, I actually made a video on how to get a perfect score on the math SAT because I got 800 on it, and I made a video on that. So be sure to check it out. But for the subject tests, now I took two. One that was physics one, and the other one was SAT math level two. Now the physics score was not too good. I got a 620, which was less than 50 percentile. And I only took that once. It was just one and done thing. I had to take it because MIT required two subject tests. And I knew I did bad on that score. I was just hoping that that wouldn't affect my application too much. Now, I wouldn't recommend that. If I was to go back in time, I would take it again, but it's okay. But for SAT math level two, I took it once and I got a 780. Now, while you guys might think that 780 is a really high score, while it is a high score, the percentile was just the 81st percentile which means that I was in like the top 19% of uh, test takers. And that's actually not that high, to be honest. Like for SAT, I was top 99, but for subject test for math level two, I was only 81. And you know, if you go by school grading, that's a B, that's not even an A. So that, was, that wasn't too good. So for SAT subject test for math level two and math level one, you wanna go for like a 790, 800 because Believe it or not, it's actually really easy, and the uh, the curve is insane. I think you can get eight questions wrong, you can still get a 790, and if you get four questions wrong, you can still get an 800 for the subject math level two. So like, there's a lot of leeway where you, you can get questions wrong, but you can still get a really high score, and you got you have to use that for your benefit. Now there are a variety of topics on the math level two test. But it's not really that hard. It's mainly pre-calc and geometry mixed in with other SAT topics like triangles, uh, series, which I learned a series in BC Calc. So for it to come that early was it was kind of funny. But if you just find are able to find patterns uh, really quickly and with much ease, you'll be set for the level two test. Because a lot of the questions that I got were just pattern based and identifying the mathematical pattern within the question. Now, there are a variety of topics on the SAT math level two test. And a lot of them are pre-calculus based and algebra two and geometry. And of course, the, some of the standard SAT topics. So it's really not hard. Just make sure you brush up on your pre-calculus knowledge because that's most likely a year ago for most of you guys watching this video. If you are a junior or maybe even a senior. So just use that and you should be set. Most of the questions I got for the subject two test was uh, series and finding the pattern of the series and being able to predict the next terms in the series. And for that, you just have to be able to observe the pattern within a, a set of numbers really quickly and really efficiently. And if you are able to do that, then you should be set for the test because a majority of questions I got were uh, based on that. And that's mainly it. Make sure you understand confidence intervals. I did get one question on the test that was about that and that really tripped me up. But everything else is mainly basic problem solving, basic algebra. Now, to be honest, I was surprised that I got 780. I, I really confidently felt that I got an 800, but you know, I guess I didn't. I got, I got some problems wrong that I probably shouldn't have, and if I had studied a little longer, a little more, because I only studied three, four hours for the test, I probably would have got a better score. So my recommendation is study max seven hours, uh, maybe five to seven to be safe, and maybe eight you know, if you're an overachiever. But to take the test, it'll be, you'll be set, it'll be good and it's only gonna help your application. If you guys have any questions about SAT subject tests, comment down below. I'll answer them all. Make sure you like the video, make sure you share the video, subscribe, peace.